Greetings and salutations to you, my devout viewers. I'm Harvey Guillen, and if you didn't know that by now, I'm either surprised by your shoddy memory or excited to have new folks tuning in to watch After the Shadows, the only show dedicated to talking all things what we do in the shadows. That also, and um, I'm the host, so I'm sure you're here for me because I'm your new cult leader. Welcome. 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 Okay, you guys, I'm super excited. Let me introduce our guest for this evening. She is the kind of leader you die for. She puts the U in cult because you can't spell cult without you. You, 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 you. She makes Heaven's Gate look like heaven's second rate. Give it up for the one, the only, Cree Summer! <laughs> I love it. Hi, baby. Cree, thank you so much for blessing us with your presence. It is a great honor to have such an exalted presence in our presence. Now, <laughs> it's, I'm so happy to be here. You know, I'm a diehard fan. I heard. Tell us about that. Well, my baby brother, Rainbow Sun, who's also an actor, we are obsessed, right? It's probably started, well, we started the show, we started with, of course, the feature, and then we became obsessed with the film. And then we started watching Baron's Night Out together on repeat. It's, it's like the episode that just kills us. And of course, Jackie Daytona, you know, when the Baron is, after they come home from partying and he's dodging the lights, uh, <laughs> that, woo, 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 woo. anyway, I could watch that for hours. So Rainbow and I started hitting Jemaine once a week on Twitter. Put us in, coach. Put us in, coach. <laughs> and then uh, really desperate. Desperation is a stinky cologne. But somebody <laughs> caught a whiff and I got an audition. I don't think it's desperation. It's talent and persistence. Uh, and pers that's thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. What do we love? To sweat! And how do we sweat? By dancing! And what do we say to newcomers? I can't imagine anyone else playing this part. I mean, but you have such an extensive career involving on-screen work, but also tons and tons of voice acting. Tell us a little bit about the difference in process and how you prepare for roles, depending on the format. How do I prepare? Little Jack Daniels and some mentholated cools. No, um, I... <laughs> how I prepare the nerve. Um, <laughs> well, I started doing cartoons when I was 11 years old. My father was a huge voiceover man. And so my entree into voice acting was pure nepotism, baby. <laughs> and I mean, I think I was aight. You know what I mean? But I was I in the right yeah, place I, at the right you're time. Right. You, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was so so in the right place at the right time. And uh, then I remember I moved to L.A. when I just turned 16 by myself. And I booked Steven Spielberg's Tiny Toons, where I played Elmira. And I was in a room full of so many. Such a good one. I, I was in a room with such Elmira. talent that that was probably the first time that I thought to myself, I think I'd like to be good at this. I'd like to be good at this. I love that story. And actually that, that character is one of my favorite, like I remember mimicking that character at school, just like that, I'm gonna hug you and squeeze you and, blah, and love you for it. Like I remember doing that in school and just like my mind was blown when you came to play with us on set. Just the idea of like such a legend and you, were, you couldn't have been nicer and more humble. My head is not gonna fit in my <laughs> Give me a bigger hat. Um, but I have to say that Guillermo is the love of my life and your tenderness takes moments in this show that of course we're all laughing our asses off because of the absurdity but there are moments with Guillermo that are so tender that you really can rip my heart open. No. And I love that balance. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a nice balance. It's so nice to see a world where you can have humor, but still have heart and still have, you know, it's rarely done. And so our show does a really good job with it. And it does a great job of casting people who bring more light to it such as yourself. Well, this is a really important question because um, we had Twitter go crazy about this. We asked, 
ask us a question that's really important. And this was the one that came back that's really, okay. really important. And I, ugh, I hate asking it, but here it is. What's it like working with me? <laughs> it's heaven. It's heaven. The best part about working with you is that I was already obsessed with Guillermo. And then, and I remember saying, oh, you know, I was, of course, you're not supposed to tell anybody, but I told my best friend. And I said, I, I don't know. I'm only seeing Kayvon. I haven't met anybody else. And then when I walked into the set that day and you were there, the best part about working with you is you. You were so delightful and welcoming and kind. And then, of course, your ad libs are hilarious. So another good part about working with you is not knowing what's going to jump out of your face. I love that, too. One of my favorite moments, moments on set for this episode that we just saw is that we are in the room, which looks amazing. The set design is like amazing. back to like the, I mean, aerobics, like to the max, literally to the max. Like the it's step, like step yeah. ladder. Oh. <laughs> and literally you instructing us and then just saying, what the are you doing here, Guillermo? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I'm, I'm just Guillermo. What the f are you doing here, Guillermo? Um, I'm uh, Jess. I don't know him. Just working on my fitness. I literally stand out. Even my workout clothes are like, and dark, you know, it's black and gray. And you guys are like in these like pastels, neons and uh, highlighter colors. And I'm just like, I stand out like a sore thumb. And yeah. it was just so perfectly done. Like what a spandex thumb, baby. Oh God, <laughs> who do I have to bite to get back on this <laughs> show? You gotta go on Twitter. You gotta go on Twitter again and say, put me in I do, I do. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go hard on Twitter again. <laughs> Who wants Instagram? Make yes, a TikTok. Maybe, maybe you can make a TikTok. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Just a dance. And I'll just do this on TikTok. Yeah. Well, here on the show, we like to play a game. I know uh, maybe you've heard of uh, a New York Minute, but here we call it In a Staten Island Minute. Okay. Which means you have 60 seconds on the clock to answer as many questions as you can. Do you think you can join this game, Cree? Yeah, let's do it. Ready? Here we go. And in what year does the Oxford Dictionary include the word vampire for the first time? A, 1734, or B, 1826? B. Oh, it's 1734. Which of the following is not an actual yoga position? A, half Lord of the Fishes, or B, the Memo's Milk Pump? <laughs> the Memo's Milk Pump. <laughs> but it should be. It, it should be. The verdict's out. The yeah. craving to drink blood is called what? A, hermitomania, or B, hemolysin? Hermitomania. Correct. Nando is originally from where? A, Alconodad, or B, Staten Island? A. Correct. One of your earliest gigs was playing Penny in Inspector Gadget. Which of the following was Twilight Robert Pattinson's first gig? A, Server, or B, Paperboy? Server. Oh, it's Paperboy. The oh. word comes from the Sanskrit language meaning A, to stretch, or B, union? B. Correct. The last name of Susie from Rugrats is A, Carmichael, or B, Michelson? Carmichael. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yes. Pretty great. That was okay. pretty great. Another okay. one of my favorites, by the way, which just uh, premiered oh. its film this summer. So really, 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 really excited about that. All my nieces and nephews already watched it. So thank you for your lovely voice to entertain my nephews and nieces. My pleasure. I, I love cartoons, you know, because in this sideways world where, where we're really seeing how ugly it can be, mm. it is so nice to have a job with a clean conscience. I sleep good at night. What I do for a living doesn't hurt nobody. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's a great way of putting it, Cree. Thank, Cree, thank you so much for your thoughtfulness and your gracious answers. And I understand now how you've been able to have so many followers uh, through your thrall now as a cult leader, because your voice is so captivating. It's so beautiful. I can listen to you talk all day. So thank you again for joining us on After the Shadows. Oh my God, is it over, baby? Don't make, don't make it be done. Don't make it be done. Mwah. I think we've all learned a valuable lesson here, folks. Don't join cults. No, they have terrible health plans. 
obviously. You almost always wind up dead in the end. And the clothing is usually very uncomfortable, but you can keep it afterwards, so that's a cool thing, right? Right? So hold on to these lessons, dear, and remember them until next week. I know I will, your new cult leader. Thank you.